Good morning everyone, it's Emily here from Phoenix Gateway bringing you your reading for the week starting the 18th of Feb. Um, it is actually the 19th today here in Melbourne, Australia and I'm doing this a little bit later because it was my birthday yesterday and I had a wonderful day just spending it with family and friends and then today is actually my son's 18th, my youngest son's 18th. So I have four children now over the age of 18, all adults, and it's like, wow, where has the time gone? Um, so it's been already a very busy week and preparing to celebrate my son's 18th on the weekend. So um, running around for that as well, but absolutely loving it and just feeling so blessed to have the family that I have. Also behind the scenes, I've been spending quite a bit of time working on some amazing products uh, which are part of my range. And of course, first we have the cards which um, are available online and the link will be underneath. So I'll be reading from these. And I've, I have over many years now created a beautiful range of elixirs, uh, vibrational elixirs. Each one of them has its own energy signature. And just to give you an idea of what they are, these are all available on my website as well. Uh, and there are 16 all up and you can read about them um, on the website and I'll again put the link below. But they work beautifully as well with the cards, if you're working with the cards. If you're working on um, some healing at the moment on different areas, you can come to these because they, they just work beautifully and complement any uh, work that you're do, any self healing that you're doing um, at present. And it's also about self discovery as well, because things come to the forefront and you, you may have your aha moments. So that's just to um, put them there. Give you a little bit of an idea of what we have. So what I'm gonna do, given my birthday week, um, my a friend of mine said, why, why don't you do a birthday card, you know, a little bit different. Well, what I thought I'd do is I'll just pull six cards and let's see what these cards actually have to say, what messages are coming through for this week using these cards. So, okay, first one to come out are ancient sound frequencies. So that's the first. So when we're looking at ancient sound frequencies, this is about balance. It's about balance on all levels. So if you're, if you're busy working on certain aspects of yourself or business or family or something, you know, has taken up more of your time, just remember how important it is to actually balance your whole self um, and give time for you when you need it. You can do that working with the solfeggio frequencies, which is what the card relates to. And the solfeggio frequencies are pure tones that we can work with and the body absolutely loves to absorb and um, work so well in uh, wellness and a wholeness. Wisdom, okay, so definitely for my birthday week, this is our wisdom. It's, you know, wisdom of, oh, oops, a little bit windy out here. Um, it's wisdom that, it's wisdom that has been imparted onto us. It is what we are creating. It is what, you know, um, lays in front of us. At la it's what lies within us. And our, for me, um, now for me, it is, is that of wisdom, it's that of knowledge. It is, it is like the messenger. So maybe there's a message that is going to be delivered to you. It's just about you needing to be very um, open to receiving at this present time. Um, I just feel really, at, you know, looking at this card, and these cards can all give at different times. You know, you might feel some slightly different meaning from it but I feel a lot of I feel quite harmonious looking into this card um, of wisdom of you know looking into into our eyes and just gaining that that inner in that insight um, and 
again, you know, looking at it, working with that Merkabah, bar, so we're working with the Merkabah, bar, we're also working on all levels. And maybe the message this week coming across is really about um, just being able to um, bring balance to all, all levels of our being, um, on all levels of our mind, body and soul. And it's interesting because Solfeggio Frequency 741 came through and it's um, this is about expression. So it's actually our soul's expression. What is your soul trying to tell you? What are we trying to express? Maybe this week it's about cleansing. It's about cleansing, looking into our diet. Maybe there's something that you need to give up. Maybe um, you, you uh, want to uh, stop drinking alcohol, maybe give up cigarettes. Maybe you're eating too much sugar and you need to give that up because our bodies are our temple. And yes, this is all coming through. There is that message that's there. Um, it's about listening to what is it that your higher self needs and what your what are the wants um, of your higher self those wants those needs put together so a lot of balance a lot of insight um, uh, hello Yana and it, it's about bringing the balance to yourself it's about their health and well-being overall and as you can see this is my puppy Yana She's not quite a puppy, she's eight, and uh, she just loves cuddles. So, hang on, Yana. <laughs> so, one second. Let's bring through another card. Okay, Dreamweaver. I've just pulled this one out, so I'm just gonna pull another two while I'm at it, and then we'll just talk about the rest of the cards. Okay, this one's flown out. So, which one's this one? Hexahedron. Nurture, create. Okay, this is sacral center work. And I'm just going to get one more. Okay. It's not going to come out. I'm just going to pull from the top. Okay. 417. All right. So there's three cards that have come through. We've spoken about so far. The ancient sound, just to recap quickly, ancient sound frequencies, it's about balance on all levels. This one is is really the insight within, it's about maybe seeing that there's a message coming your way, or maybe there's a message from your higher self that is actually coming through, because it's our wisdom and it's our higher self our, our, that are coming from that purity of self that the our soul expression here and maybe the message you know there's a message there for you saying hey uh, you really need to look after my body a little bit better um, I'm just feeling a bit out of whack right now uh, maybe it's about just taking a step back taking time out for you and um, finding the balance. But while you're doing that, you might be finding that you've been eating way too much sugar or you need to stop drinking as much or maybe smoking. It, it may just be a habit. It, it could be anything that you need to actually um, say to yourself, you know what, right, I need to give up because I really, um, you know, I, I, I'm the master of my of my world and of what it is that I am creating and you know I want to be here for long enough to be able to create create and manifest the most magnificent me that I can be so when we start to look after ourselves better we also have a clearer mind so that we can manifest and we can we are the masters of our web we are the masters of our life to what we want to create for ourselves so as the message keeps going, we're actually nurturing ourselves. We're nurturing um, that the sacral center, which is our birthing center, our creativity, um, our, you know, that joy from within. So, you know, really this is where that birthing center, so it's what we can, we can now, you know, as we create, um, that new us, that cleansing from within, that balance from within, we can start, we nurturing ourselves, we're creating that and bringing through the joy. Um, really, we can, we can do what it is, whatever we need to, 
to bring through in this in this lifetime and it might be something new that you're working on right now um, but interestingly the last card that came through was the 417 Hertz and 417 Solfeggio Frequency is all about um, releasing uh, traumatic experiences so the, you know, when we're looking back at what the cards are saying from the beginning about that cleansing, the taking uh, taking time for ourselves, creating that balance, you know, even down to that nurturing, even though this one came out first. But, you know, when we look at it, we, we're holding, it may be something from childhood, it could even be past life, it could even be from now, but something that you could be holding on to that needs some forgiveness. And, you know, as we're working through this balance, um, we're working, you know, through what we're creating for our stability for our lifetime, we're listening, you know, to our soul's expression, to what our higher self really needs. Um, you know, that wisdom, that insight is within and we want to you know we we want to give ourselves a lot of nurturing um and a, and a lot of you know nurture yourself bringing in that feminine aspect and because this is about what you know what we end up creating and it's also the area in which we need to release um that you know something that may be holding us back still on that on our path and i feel with the new the full moon that's here now you know and from what i've read about i think it's chiron um you know this is still about releasing and um and working on the the wounds that we've had and releasing releasing the hurts the pains and for some you know it may be more so coming to the surface for others it may be that you've already done a lot of work so there just might be little bits that are still coming through for you i just feel like i want to pull one more card on that 417 to see um okay can i have one card just to pull on this 417 to see what does come through so really nice okay uh, excuse me right beautiful okay i get this a lot for myself really need to meditate and go within because when we meditate we actually take ourselves out of that pure conscious state of of you know just what we see around us and, and and being in this moment and we're able to actually lift ourselves higher to to get to a higher vibration um and, and you know interestingly enough as this happens this is when we can probably start to hear more of the wisdom that's coming from in because i feel this card this week is all about your inner wisdom your inner guidance and and there's a message al is coming with a message for you so the um and for the last card and as i guess for the card of 417 and for the all the cards um, take some time out for you and take some time out to meditate as we do this you're expanding your energy you're starting to understand more uh, what your higher self you know is asking of you and maybe what your next steps are that you need to take so have a beautiful week wherever you are and um, I look forward to speaking with you again next week okay bye